What is going on guys, Joe here, back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this little keyboard here and plus many more onto your iOS device. So iOS 8 was recently released to the public and with iOS 8 we actually got a new feature to allow third party keyboards. So there are many different applications out in the App Store now and I wanted to cover some of my favorites uh, as of today, as of launch of iOS 8. Now this one here is going to be SwiftKey. So with SwiftKey, you will notice that we have a different colored keyboard and also you have swipe. So with SwiftKey, you'll be able to simply swipe key to key. And this is actually an application or a keyboard, a feature, I should say, on Android, which has been long released, of course. Uh, but Apple is finally catching up and this feature is finally here and the application is actually able to be used. Now, when I talk about the application, if we simply go into SwiftKey here, uh, we'll be able to go ahead and check out some settings. You will have this SwiftKey Cloud. Now with SwiftKey Cloud, what this allows you to do is sign in to uh, your Facebook or Google Plus account. And with this, it'll be able to back up your words and phrases, uh, and it will learn your keys uh, or your words. And also, if you are using an Android device, and you have been using SwiftKey for the longest, you can simply sign in and then it'll sync over to your iOS device. So that is pretty cool. It allows cloud syncing. Uh, now we go back, we have languages and then we have different languages here. We can actually download some additional ones here as you see there, uh, but go back. We got keyboard settings. Now here in keyboard settings, we'll be able to choose different themes. Now with the themes, you'll be able to choose nickel dark or nickel light. Now nickel light, is uh, pretty cool, um, but we'll check that out here in a second. Advanced settings, we have the option to turn on and off, autocorrect, quick period, and auto capitalize. And we do have the option to clear our personal data. Now there's other ways to type, and the only way to type is Swift Key Flow. So that is what I was using right now, key to key, uh, letter to letter, uh, you'll be able to swipe across the keyword, and then it'll predict your words. Now when it comes to uh, other settings, all we have is about SwiftKey and need help. Now the way to actually enable this uh, keyboard is you'll go into settings and not only this keyboard but every keyboard, every third party keyboard. Go into settings, we go into general, we scroll all the way down, go to keyboard, and then here on keyboard uh, we'll simply go ahead and select keyboards. Now you will see that I have SwiftKey enabled. Now, the way to add a different keyboard is we'll go into add new keyboard and you will see my third party keyboards uh, listed right here. So these are actually all the ones that I've downloaded so far and that we'll be covering in this video. Uh, but we'll simply tap on one. So for example, Flexi here, uh, when you click on it, it'll be added to your keyboard. So normally you see English and emoji. Now you see Swift key and Flexi or Flexi, sorry. <laughs> we click on it. And then we're going to allow full access because this will allow you to remember the words, uh, remember your, basically predict your texting over time. Uh, so I have that enabled also on uh, Swift key. So let's go ahead and enable all of these. I'm going to go ahead and just select all these and uh, I'll show you how this simply works. So now I have all these uh, set up and turned on. Now we go back into our notes and you will see here is that different theme of Swift key, the white theme or the nickel light. Now to access a different keyboard, all we got to do is hit the little globe here and then it'll go ahead and enable this keyboard here. Now we'll go over this here in a second. Uh, here's another keyboard. This is actually an emoji keyboard, uh, which is pretty neat. We'll go through that here in a sec. And here is another one. So you see here, we'll be able to change different keyboards. I don't know why I just said keyboards, but, uh, yeah, we go here and then this is pink. I don't know why, but, uh, but yeah. So let's go ahead and this is the default one here, but let's go ahead and check out which keyboards I have installed. So now checking out the keyboards here, we have Swipe. We also have Flexi. We have Keymoji. We have TouchPal and Minim. I believe that's how you say it. Minim, 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 Minunum. Yeah, anyways, uh, we have Swipe. So let's go ahead and check out Swipe. Swipe is a very popular uh, swiping keyboard application as well on Android. So to enable this keyboard, all we gotta do is hold down on our little globe here, and then we have the option to select in between all of our different keyboards. Now here, we're gonna go ahead and check out Swipe. Here is Swipe here. This is a black themed keyboard. So you see we have our numbers and keys. 
uh, and we'll be able to swipe from key to key. So let's go ahead and try this out right here. Hey, how are you doing? And I didn't mean to do how eight you, how are you doing? So there is um, the swiping keyboard. Now we are able to simply switch into numbers, all that good stuff here. Here's an emoji there. Now if we go down here to the bottom left and we hold down our little icon there, you will get the globe, you get the uh, number pad here, so you can change it to a number pad. Uh, so you can go back and then go into your settings. Now here in settings, we'll be able to change the theme as well. Uh, we can change it to earth. This is actually a theme I had enabled on one of my posts on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Uh, so if you follow me, uh, this is it right here. Now we have the option to do auto correction as to add words. We can change the languages or we can add languages. These are the only available languages at the moment. And you can have your personal dictionary. So my personal dictionary, I have Earth, so, and JB Tech 17. But, uh, but yeah, so let's check out this uh, theme here. So there is that theme right there. It's pretty nifty. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's a theme. You suck. You sick. There we go. Anyways, we'll go back into there, go into settings and change up the theme so you can check out another one. Uh, here's a pretty cool one, the sun one. Actually, let's do the sand. I haven't checked this one out. Uh, but there is the uh, sand there. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's gonna be a swipe and you can go ahead and select the globe. And now we are on our next keyboard here. Now this one is pretty cool. This one's actually gonna be called Flexi. Now this one's not gonna be a swiping keyboard, uh, but you will be able to type simply like this. But the cool thing about this is the fact that you can swipe to the left and erase that whole word. So uh, I can go ahead and type, here we go. And you see here, if I swipe left, I can go ahead and delete the whole entire word that I just uh, typed out. Now, if you go ahead and start spelling something, hey, how are you? Uh, you will be able to go ahead and swipe to the right, and then that'll enable the space key. Uh, so instead of pressing down here, you'll be able to swipe. So here in the middle section, this is where you swipe left or right. Uh, left will completely erase that, that word that you just typed. And uh, to if you go ahead and swipe to the right, you'll be able to go ahead and hit the space bar without having to reach down here. Now with this, this is pretty cool. So if I swipe up, I'll be able to go ahead and click on or check these uh, words right above the keyboard. Now if I'm swiping down, I'll be able to go ahead and go through the selection of different words that I may think that I'm trying to spell. Now another cool feature here is you can do a two finger swipe down and then it'll go ahead and completely remove the space bar down there uh, and give you more room for the keys of the keyboard. Now if you swipe up, with two fingers, uh, it'll actually come back to you. So you'll be able to go ahead and select the space bar down there. But if you want more room, you can go ahead and swipe down with two fingers. That's pretty cool. Now if we go ahead and open up the Flexi application right here, uh, we'll be able to select a couple of new settings or a couple of settings here. Uh, you can select your large uh, font. You can do the original or small font. So you can kind of customize the keyboard as far as size goes and even customize the different colors the little color scheme here. Uh, but you'll be able to choose small, original, or large. And here on the right side, you can actually uh, do what we did earlier with the minimal setting or have the space bar included. So by simply swiping up or down with two fingers, you'll be able to enable and disable that feature right there. So that is Flexi right there. Uh, you can check that out. Then the next keyboard is called TouchPal. Now with TouchPal, again, you'll be able to swipe key to key, uh, as you see here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, not spell the correct words. So, how are you doing? There we go. So it's going to predict your words again. Uh, you do have your little numbers on the keys on the top row. Uh, so you can long press and then swipe up. So that's pretty cool. You can simply swipe up on the keys. Um, and then down here you have your question mark and exclamation point or exclamation mark. And you just simply... Uh, press and then swipe down um, and then you're at sign right there. Now there is a cool little feature where you can swipe left and right right here on the space bar and then it will change the languages. Now to activate your emojis all you got to do is press and hold the uh, enter key and then it will activate your emojis here. So you still have access to the normal keys and everything. Uh, it's just kind of laid out differently. Now on this if we go into our 
actual application of TouchPal. We'll be able to change the different themes as well. Uh, you can change it to default, red, rose red, uh, blue, blue night, uh, yellow, light green, and uh, white, and uh, brown right there. So uh, you can check those out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The settings kind of self-explanatory, auto correction, auto capitalization, uh, auto spacing, and all that. And you can change the language too. Here's some of the languages right there. It actually has quite a bit. So depending on your language, you'll be able to select that. Uh, and that is touch pal. Now, lastly, we're going to take a look at minim or minim. Uh, I don't even know how to say that, but minim. Uh, we go into our notes right here. We'll go ahead and select minim, which is going to be right here. Where are you at minim? There you are. So here is minim, but the way this works is pretty cool. Uh, you can, of course, select your predictive text. Hey, there uh, are you. Can't, I don't know what I'm spelling out, but the cool feature here, the, what I really like is the fact you can uh, swipe down and then it'll change to a smaller keyboard as you see down there. So here all you gotta do is click on the letter or the group wherever that letter is. So hey, how are you? Um, so you see there? And then uh, go ahead and click on the little numbers and you'll be able to access the different uh, exclamation points, question marks, all that good stuff. You can swipe up or down and then make it smaller or bigger, the keyword. So I think that is a pretty cool uh, little tweak here. But uh, pretty much guys, that is uh, your custom keyboards. Those are some of the keyboards I came across that I enjoyed. Now these keyboards do kind of take some time to adjust to uh, because it is a new style of typing on an iOS device. Uh, now if you are an Android user, you probably already are familiar with uh, how to how this works and probably are an experienced user. So this will kind of come easier uh, to you. Me personally, I find it a lot faster and easier to uh, text. Uh, I really enjoyed swipe on Android. And then whenever I go back to an iOS device, um, I kind of miss that feature. But now with iOS 8, you're able to get that swiping feature with different keyboards. So I really enjoy it. It just takes a little learning curve. Uh, to get used to it but once you get the hang of it you'll be typing pretty fast and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it but let me know in the comment section below if you do enjoy these whole new keyboards the way you can customize your keyboard uh, now with third-party keyboards from the App Store but as always go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video not only helps me but it does support the channel and lets me know that you are enjoying these videos and if you're not yet follow me on any of my social networks like Facebook Twitter Google Plus or Instagram all of the links are down below in the description so you can go ahead and follow me on those, Twitter and Instagram being my most active social networks I believe, so you can get a hold of me better through those. Uh, so go ahead and follow me on those, and and also if you feel like being awesome and you still have not yet subscribed, uh, go ahead and do so, click that subscribe button down below, that way you'll get notified every time I come out with a new video, including iOS 8 or other tech related videos, and also iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus coverage because that is going to be coming out. Uh, very very soon depending on where you're watching this video it's probably already available so uh, do stay tuned for coverage on those devices because i will be getting those at launch date anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up thanks a lot for watching appreciate all your support and uh, i'll catch you all in the next video all right Peace.